<laughs> Thank you, Holy Imperator. Sorry, bear with me just a minute. I'm just eating a whisper. No more Stellaris, uh, Decantre. Um, well, I did play it for like two solid uh, two solid weeks. So I just got a bit bored of it. I fancied something else. I fancied a bit of RimWorld. I just kind of play whatever I'm, whatever I'm in the mood for, really. No plan. I'm sure at some point I'll get tired of RimWorld and go to something else. Hmm. Ah. Chocolate stuck in the roof of my mouth. Ah. Ah. Right. So, um, good morning everybody. Good morning and welcome indeed to your Wednesday. Hi there and welcome. So wherever you are in the world and whatever it is you find yourself doing, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely week. So over here, uh, the weather is a bit better in the UK actually, meaning it's cooler. So yesterday it got to about 29 degrees. I know a lot of people are going to be like, ha! You know, that's not, you know, but it's just inescapable heat. It was just not nice. But it's now cooled down quite a bit. And we had a passing shower this morning, which... It, yeah, so it's all evaporating and it's, it's resulting in this nice cool ambiance. It's, it's quite nice. Um, so yes, uh, so over here things are fine. So the plan today, just to bring people up to speed with what's happening, is to keep working on anti-stasi bullshittery part 3. Just to quantify how far through that is, the video is approximately 10 to 11 minutes long. And I'm working on, I think today it's the 7th minute, I think. Wait, so, yes. Um, so it's uh, yeah, just just to give you an idea. So by the end of today, sorry, by the end of this week, I should be entering the ninth minute. Uh, so I'm hoping it, it, it's progressing. It's progressing is what I'm saying. So um, yeah, that, that's what's going on. I'm just working on the latest bullshittery, uh, and yeah, I'm just going to crack on really. But more importantly, I have some excellent news, fantastic news. Today is a great day, everybody. Today is a really really great day for my penis pump arrived, as you can see clearly. It has arrived in the post. This should help me, uh, and and you know I, I strongly recommend for any any uh, male who's who's struggling. Um, yes. So the knob end goes in that end, and then you yeah pump it there, and it's a penis pump. No, it's not. It's a it's a, a bait pump for uh, fishing. So you put the pellets in that end, and then you fill it with water, and then you pump it, and then you make them neutrally buoyant or something. So the bait will. Uh, will sort of like bob on the, it won't sort of float to the surface and go off the hook because of the way the hooks are shaped. It will, uh, yeah, it will it will basically float to the bottom. Well, it will, it will stay in the water and the fish will be like, ooh, and they'll go for it. So apparently you do that just before you cast your bait in, so yeah. But it looks, it looks like a penis, but it's straight out of Austin Powers. It looks exactly like a penis pump, just thicker, which, you know, some, some people might need, need that, you know? But yeah, so, um, yeah, that, that arrived in the post a short while ago, and uh, it's just a sticker. It's not even printed on. It's just a... Hmm, never mind. Right. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Too Long Didn't Read version for those people just joining the chat. Um, I bought a penis pump, uh, and the other news is I'm working on anti-stasi bullshittery part three. Blah. Pardon me. It's probably going to need another week and three days, roughly. 
Right, okay then, so, on with RimWorld then, so on with the playthrough. So, welcome indeed to Coloma's Creek. So, Coloma's Creek is a river uh, map here, a creek, which is about five kilometers south of where we started. So, this derelict up here is Neverglade. We had a bit of a problem because uh, after we crash landed in, in the, the forests of Neverglade, we had a psychic ship event, which is a sort of very, very nasty type of event where you have to attack. You can't just sit on the defense. You have to attack a synthetic uh, like defense force. They're, they're protecting this piece of an ancient ship that's fallen from orbit. We were in no position to do that. We had like one soldier and they were crap. So, um, yeah, not good. Not good at all. So, uh, we moved instead five kilometers south and set up a river camp, which is still being worked on. But things are good. We, we fought through our initial... Uh, problems and I'm currently working as you can see here I'm just working on some defenses here I'm just getting two small bunkers on and and trying to move the turrets into a position where they're less flammable uh, I need to cut away the vegetation here um yeah so we're just sort of working away we also had uh, so I played it a little bit last night just before bed only about 20 minutes we had a bunch of iguana um a man hunting pack of iguana Ugh. Which caused problems they even attacked a small group of visitors from a nearby faction and murdered them so, um, yeah, so the, the freezer is, is stocked full of food. Oh! Holy shit! Dude today and Emerald are now porking. Holy crap! Yeah, Emerald became aroused. Sorry, a dude today pursued Emerald by joking about cleaning. Emerald became aroused. She's aroused by cleaning. And agreed to become Dude today's lover. Dude today and Emerald now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. I shall indeed. Well done. Well done indeed. Yeah, she's easy. Holy shit. Nervous Hawk held out for ages. Loads of flirtation, flirt, you know, attempts to flirt. But Emerald, now you get in there. So she's a 43-year-old, yeah, so introductions, I guess. So Emerald is a 43-year-old uh, escapee, uh, a test subject for some sort of military experiment, which, uh, which she was subjected to. She was a bit of a spoilt teenager, but uh, yeah, she was abducted and kept in a lab. So she's terrified of labs and uh, medical processes and stuff. But she's a very cap capable fighter at the age of 43. So she's fallen in love with, well, they're at least they just want to shag, um, with Dudaday, who's a 54-year-old 50, very cranky geologist. Uh, he doesn't touch alcohol or drugs, which makes him all the more unstable, ironically, um, because he you know, won't turn to stimulants for comfort. Instead, he'll just punch people. He's also very good at mining. He wants to do lots of art, but, well, Chucky's doing that currently. Um, yeah, so the two of them are now together. So let's definitely give them a double bed. Um, so let's copy the double. Where's Dudaday's bed? It's here. Let's move you somewhere a bit further away. Uh, well, yeah, you can, if you go on the end room, that would work out for you. Uh, so let's just pick up your bed and put it over here, and then um, Flyboy is still looking for a bed. He can sleep over there. Um, Emerald, could you just prioritize that? And then we'll build you a new bed. Then the two of you can start fucking. Oh, and then Cyan and I can listen to it, because he's through the vent there. <laughs> um, right. Double bed. In fact, we should probably try and get that gold, which is down here. That will let me build a royal bed. That would be very useful. Good morning, Catler. Good morning, indeed. And uh, ZF Social is in the chat, folks, if you wanted to say hi to him. ZF Social System. Also known as the clan's Hodor. The guy's massive. Holy shit. Big Scottish guy. Okay, so Emerald is just lifting the bed. So yes, that was Emerald and Dudaday. Next we have Cyanide, a 23-year-old uh, formal, uh, sorry, for, former noble, oh my god, former medieval lordling. So he grew up in comfort in a castle, and in his adult life he turned to knitting and embroidery. He became a weaver. So he is currently busy working the tailoring table. He is also very ugly, which, you know, is appropriate, and is generally pretty useless. We have Flyboy over here, a 40-year-old illuminator, so like a spiritual leader for a cave world society where he came from. Uh, he's pretty okay-ish at research, which is why we've assigned him there. But really, Flyboy has a burning passion for firearms. He loves guns. Absolutely loves, loves guns. So I would assign him hunting, but we really need somebody to work on... Well, intellectual pursuits. We need somebody researching defences and, and, and just fancy new technology as best we can. We have Chucky. 37-year-old Chucky is a former architect turned artist. He works on a lot of the building projects and also makes lovely statues for the colony. He's kind, he's generous, he's well-liked and he's gay. 
We have Singy. She's an 18-year-old abrasive, tough cannibal girl who's currently wearing a hat made from the skin of a 16-year-old boy. She's a little creepy. Obviously, you know, being, being a cannibal, she would be creepy. And, uh, but she is a fantastic, ferociously effective melee fighter. And also our primary doctor with the death of Coloma. Next, we have Hawk. Hawk is a 45-year-old feudal world food taster. She's very neurotic and breaks easily. And uh, is very quick sleeper. Very, you know, she, she, she gets up out of bed at about 3 in the morning and gets on with her morning routine. And since that involves preparing breakfast for everybody, that's a pretty good thing. She's also in a relationship with Jonah. So Jonah uh, and her are sleeping together. Uh, Jonah is a 52-year-old evangelist preacher who works on the mining and hauling and um, also handles the prisoners. So welcome, indeed, to Coloma's Creek. Right. So yes. So we're working on our defences right now, so the northern defences specifically, but we do really need to improve the southern defences. To the far east and west, I'm just double-walling with some granite, just because we don't really have any defence currently. And I just need to you know, have, have something more than just a few planks of wood which bandits are just going to tear through really quickly, you know? Um, can we turn that turret off? It's draining power. Oh yes, I also built this thing. Apparently it's a water mill. It's new. It's pretty cool. It's generating power through the movement of the water. Thank you, uh, DVSD4N. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very kind. Hmm. Okay then. So, um, yes, Singy, the cannibal, is just working. So I'm trying to put some concrete around here so that, we, well, it's not as flammable. So if somebody starts throwing, well, fire all over the place, we'll be okay. Hmm. Good idea. Also get that place roofed off. So if we have a fallout event or whatever, let's just do that. Just make sure it's defined. Yeah, keep this whole area roofed off. Right. So everybody's busying themselves. There are two days left of summer, and then we're going to enter the autumn. Probably won't have enough time to grow the second batch of crops we're growing. We still need to harvest the smoke leaf. That would be very useful indeed. Okay, so Jonah the Evangelist is chopping trees. Hawk is joining him. Um, Singy the Cannibal is just building. Chucky's playing chess, but I would like him to keep building. Uh, no, I don't know what that is, Raptor. Waterproof power conduits. Ooh, sounds interesting. Hmm. Okay, do today is hauling granite about. Carry on. Cyanide is, is making some more bricks for the colony to use. Flyboy's researching carpets. And Emerald is uh, hauling. Okay, everyone's doing bits and pieces. Truth be told, I mean, since we're in such a strong position and we have food, maybe it's a wise idea to send an away team out to attack this outpost down here. We've received a notification that one of our enemies, the egalitarian Ken League of Ono Many, a bandit group, have five people defending an anti-grain warhead. An anti-grain warhead is a type of anti-matter anti weapon, a shell that we can fire from a mortar tube. It is stupendously effective. We ha one of them is all we'll get, but one is more than enough. The explosive range is it, uh, it's like this. It's enormous. And it causes extreme, like, s horrible injuries. It just takes, just the overpressure will just instantly kill anybody caught in it. And blow limbs off. It's horrendous. Ah, well, Grumpy, I, I, I know it sounds a bit weird. I've, I've served my time in WoW. Um, I played WoW pretty much just WoW for about five years, from 2005 onwards. I've, I've kind of seen all there is to see, done all, all there was to do. Had some incredible highs and some terrible lows in that wonderful, wonderful game. <laughs> Even bring, bringing back classic is all well and good, but you can't bring back the social ties and friends and and moments that I went through. So you know, I can't really bring back WoW. You can play WoW again, but you can't bring back WoW. At least for me, I was one of those sad act. You know, you know, like the no lifers. Every hour, every day, every weekend, non-stop, all the time. Every mount, every title, every achievement, every raid, guild leader, raid leader. Time lost Proto Drake. Mounts in their hundreds. Hmm. Good times. Yeah, a neckbeard. Yeah, yeah. Ha. <sighs> yeah, I've, 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 I've done it all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see. Social. 
Ah, oh dear. You knob end. Okay. Uh, I can build a crematorium already. Are you sure? Do you not have to research it? Uh, where is it? Sorry, production. Oh, yeah, you're right. Holy shit. I can build a crematorium. Okay. Right, so Chucky is working on the outer wall. Good, good. Let's just get this double walled. What's with the snails in storage? Iguana. Dead iguana. We had a man-hunting iguana event. Oh, and we yeah, we need to fix the exterior door, don't we? The external door there. I really can't. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. So what? We'll, right. So should I send an away team? Oh, a chunk of spacecraft. You know, I'm going to prioritize pulling that because we do need steel. Singy, once you've finished eating there, would you mind going to deconstruct that? Okay, so this is a piece of the presumably the cryo ship, if not older. And it's produced some steel. No, only a little bit. The components will also be quite useful. Can never do hauling. What about do today? Yeah, haul that in, if you please. Okay. Yeah, the place isn't looking too bad. Ooh, we finished one. Yes, I need to properly work on the power. Get, get this. So this is a switch. It will let me turn the turrets on and off quickly. So in the event of a manhunting incident, we can go, oh, fuck, and switch off all of the turrets before the animals run on in. Okay, but we certainly need more steel because we need a whole load of southern turrets. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Sure, Thomas, but sometimes it's not necessarily about far... Uh, so I'm going to have a horseshoe corridor moving here, and then when the base expands south, probably continue it that way. But sometimes we, we also need to set... Yes, yeah, so I was going to put auto doors here once we'd researched them. Did I finish researching them? I... Uh, yes, I did. Cool. Uh, so uh, at the same time, though, we, we must be careful not to... We, we need to have layered defenses, because the bandits can obviously break through doors too quickly as well. Well, it depends on the door, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's go with steel doors here and here. So auto doors are particularly useful on the the thorough the you know the the, the, the thoroughfares of the base. Okay, you're hungry. Do you have a favourite slow cooker recipe? Um, yeah, like a, a pork leg or something. Uh, cut up an onion, an onion, sorry. Um, cut up a an apple. Make it sit on apple slices so it's not fully on the base of the slow cooker. Add some, uh, what is it, chicken stock and some white wine and some sliced onions and some garlic and uh, salt and pepper to your taste. Put it in the slow cooker. Oh. oh, and honey as well. A bit of honey. Garlic, honey, white wine and apple slow cooked pork. And then when you take it out, you, you sort of use a, a fork to separate it all, to, to make it all, you know, mash it all together so it's all in one big mix. Heaven. Okay, uh, damn, Emerald couldn't get the bed on in time, which means do today, do today and Emerald can't do the nasty yet. Hmm. Okay. Right, so the colony's gone to bed, so there's two days left of summer. Or oh, oh, Hawk is still outside, she's gonna go rest. Okay. Major break risk. Hawk, what's up? She's feeling drowsy, it's fine. She's in minor pain. Is it from the asthma? Oh, an old gunshot. I see, she's now she has a, a permanent injury. She's taken that yeah, in one of the battles she took a gunshot in the arm. Such is the cost of trying to defend the colony. Okay, Ooh, one of the turrets was left on. See, this is why we need a, a, a central switch system. Ah, good, and we've moved that trap. So let's duplicate that. So what I'm trying to do here is have the turrets in their own sandbags for their own defense, but also a few traps to catch the legs of the people that might try to scale the sandbags to destroy the turrets. All the while, we're shooting at them from our, our bunkers. Oh no, the camel has gotten flu. Oh dear. That's a shame. Um, I guess we can treat it. Just don't give it anything better than herbal meds. Do we even have herbal meds? Oh, we got a few. Oh, yes, we were growing some in this field. Oh, cool. We've got four. Yeah. Is there a reason why I don't have any colonists working the night shift? I don't have any night owls. I have no colonists that 
uh, would receive pleasure from doing that. Okay. Uh, let's assign... Uh, hang on, sorry. The camel is currently in area one. This is area one. Let's... In uh, what am I doing? Zone... Expand area, area one. Let it come in here. It's the lobby area. Where we're going to put an animal sleeping spot. Just a place where we can treat it. Okay. And then whoever's the doctor will be able to treat. Okay. So for those people who are just joining the stream uh, and aren't sure what's going on. So the colony that I've got here on this river is trying its best to survive after some unspecified accident or incident in orbit which resulted in a large spaceship carrying a lot of escape pods or cryopods uh, jettisoning, uh, sort of spreading its population out across a rim world. Uh, so a planet on the galactic rim where it's lawless and there are tribals and predators and killer robots and everything's fucked and everybody's fighting over the remnants of the old world, the, d the debris from the spaceship. And it can result in some very, very, very cool moments such as if a daughter, like a teenage daughter, crash lands due to the trajectory of her pod, she could crash land years ahead of the rest of her family. She she could grow old, she could turn into a bandit leader, and then her mother, you know, is now younger than her, biologically, is then captured, you know, stuff like that. Like a, like a time capsule, as in the individual escape pods, the cryopods. For there is no faster than light travel in this in this universe. It's like um, it's like Alien. In that everyone goes in cryo sleep, and as a result, if you click on somebody, you can see that they have their age, but also their biological. So their their biological age, but then their chronological age. So Flyboy is forty, but he's actually he's lived for sixty six years. So Cyanide here is twenty three, but he's actually been alive for uh, fifty nine years. Hawk, 45 years old, she's been alive 123 years. All of this time is time spent in cryosleep between the stars. Who's the oldest? Chucky is 279. Uh, Singy was a tribal, so she was born here. She knows nothing of cryo. Hang on. Ooh, Jonah is 987. Yep, he's the oldest by far. 987. He's 52 biologically, but 987 years old chronologically. Thank you, AKA and the Frost Wire. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Indeed, we're okay for the minute, Ashen. For the minute. Things can change on a dime. On a dime. On a whim. Okay, so people are waking up. One more day of summer. So enjoy the weather while it's here. Joni the Evangelist is off to go clean. Nervous Hawk is off to go and prepare food. Um, yeah, carry on. Let's queue up some... Ooh, might be a bit too much. Keep queuing up simple meals. Just stockpile as many simple meals as we can in stacks of ten in this freezer. Singy is off to tend to the camel. She's the doctor. Good, good. Chucky's working on the building. Can I ask you to prioritize the double bed for Dudaday and Emerald so they can sleep together? If they can actually sleep together, they'll get quite a significant mood boost for the rest of the day, which is very handy. Thank you, Mr. Fallout. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Do today, the cranky geologist, is off to haul granite chunks to the dumping stockpile. This is probably a worthwhile endeavor now. We need to clear the, the chunks here so the enemy do not have places to take cover. Ooh, there appears to be a steel trap left out here in the open. So we don't have to build a fresh one. We can just move it here. Thank you, uh, Raiko. Thank you, Raiko. Thank you, sir. Um, yes, we do have a roof on the base. If I, if I press this, we can see where the roof is. So there's a missing section here because there was a geothermal vent which was keeping the base too warm at the height of summer. When it turns winter, we'll seal this off and then it will keep the place toasty. Hopefully. Um, I'm not familiar with that skittle, sorry. Did I enjoy Fallout 4? No. Um, I'm a full... I, I, you know... I, I'm, I'm a Fallout fan. I enjoy Fallout, therefore Fallout 4 is kind of crap. I hear good game, shite Fallout game. I couldn't even finish it. I just got so bored of Fallout 4. Ah, sorry, pardon me. 
Yes, indeed. So the workbenches are not in an ideal place due to the temperature changes and probably because some of them count as being outdoors. Okay. Right, so cyanide is now uh, in the field helping with the harvest, which is a yeah, good plan right now. Let's get as, as many of these crops in as possible. Smoke leaf is going to prove very useful. Let's set up a crafting spot over... Where is it? Sorry. Crafting spot. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, a crafting spot next to the cabinet where we're going to add make smoke leaf joint and do it until we have... Eh, do it until we have about 50 of the things and just drop them on the floor. So we can take this, uh, well, these smoke leaves and dry them and roll them and turn them into, well, it's either, it's either marijuana or tobacco. Regardless, it's a stimulant that people enjoy smoking. I imagine Flyboy is going to enjoy smoking them. He is one hell of a junkie. Chemical fascination. So grab a joint and go research. Yeah, war bears. <laughs> no, we're not having war bears, Flyboy. War rhinos. Okay. Well, I don't know, Eninra. I hear the new hitmen, the new hitmen get so that I, I hear that they're pulling themselves out of their nosedive. But oh my god, that was one hell of a nosedive. Um, to the point that it, it it turned me off the rest of the franchise. Hitman Absolution was a train wreck of bad design choices. For those who are not familiar with the controversy, the Hitman series, which involves a sort of iterative puzzle game in a way. You have a sort of sandbox puzzle and each individual time you do it, you know, your first attempt you'll be rubbish. The next attempt you'll discover new ways to kill your target. You're a Hitman trying to assassinate somebody. And like you'll go in, you'll maybe you'll poison his wine, or maybe you'll shoot him with a sniper rifle, or maybe you'll garrote him in the dining room. And then as you go, you sort of learn new ways to get in. Maybe disguise yourself as the postman, or sneak in through the back door, or trigger the fire alarm and run on in while you know people are going, "Oh my God, there's a fire!" It's all about different creative ways that you can use. The I the developer IO Interactive released a a very different game with Hitman Absolution. It was extremely different. They introduced um, a, a much more linear, much more cinematic thing where often you didn't even you didn't even get to kill the target. It would just happen either in a cutscene or the, the, the target would escape. So it missed the point of Hitman entirely. Um, and it, oh god, it's hard, it's hard to quite fully describe the nosedive. Like, it, they, they immediately shattered a lot of goodwill. Um, yeah. Because you don't make design errors like that without very serious underlying leadership failures. It wasn't just a whoopsie daisy, we struggled with quality control. It's like you failed to understand the very nature of the game. Um, yeah, but I hear that they then. They're, they're picking it up again. I hear that the newer ones. I mean, they didn't inspire a huge amount of confidence with me because they rebranded it. Hitman, you know? That. that and, and now is not the time, uh, IO Interactive, now is not the time to be reinventive. Like, you, you needed to go back to, to the roots. But instead it was like, hey, we're rebranding it, Hitman, and then Hitman 2 again. And we're also going to be introducing a new monetization strategy which involves a sort of games as a service type thing where they release the missions piecemeal as sort of micro editions or whatever. So, yeah, confidence in them was not, I, I didn't feel all that confident with them. Exactly. Uh, Atathea, yeah. Nail on, nail on the head, sir. The exact same mistake with Splinter Cell Conviction. No stealth in a stealth game with bonuses for getting it. What was it? Sorry. You make a stealth kill, then you can get like two headshots for free or something? Yeah, it, it suddenly it became Jack. You became Jack Bauer? Like in the prior Splinter Cells, one, one alarm, trigger one alarm or kill one person, depends on the mission. Mission failed. But in this one, it's like suddenly you're. You're some generic, like you're Bruce Willis. You're going around fucking killing terrorists. It's horrible. Horrible game. Yeah, but but so that so effectively, yeah, the Hitman franchise nosedived 
Uh, along with Splinter Cell, the two of them did. Hmm. But I did, um, I, I, I replayed Blood Money recently, didn't I? I should go back and play, yeah, I, I, and, and before that, Hitman 2. Silent Assassin. They're really good. Well, hungry, for, uh, hungry for free stuff says. Are you sure it's not the armed nuns? Truth be told, so he's referring to a marketing campaign which involved BDSM-clad nun assassins, and uh, Hitman was uh, sorry, F uh, Agent Forty Seven was killing them. Truth be told, no, all of that is totally par for the course with the Hitman series. Um, you know, there, there's like one of the, the levels in Blood Money involves you sneaking into a latex-clad BDSM party to assassinate the. Well, you can do it. You can assassinate the the. the, the the, the gas, the, what is it, like the pyrotechnic show to cause your target to fall into your, your this scantily clad woman to fall into a pit of shark, a, a tank of, t of, of containing a shark, you know, it, all of that is, is, is normal Hitman stuff. It was all very normy, you know, outrage towards that. The, the real damage to the franchise was the changing of the core mechanics to be some cinematic type affair. Oh, and also, sorry, while I'm on my hobby horse about Hitman, they also started... There's this character in Hitman. Um, her name is... Fuck, what is her name? I've forgotten her name. This is the point. Her name isn't even that important. But she is your handler. She is the one that reads the mission briefings to you as part of your role as an assassin. Diana, that's her name. It just came to me there. So the whole idea behind her is that she's simply the voice on the phone that says, here's your target, here's the file, payments in the normal place, good luck 47. They tried to turn her into a fully fleshed, like fleshed out character in, in Hitman Absolution. With like a backstory and, and like, um, like she started appearing in cutscenes. No, no, you've missed the point. And like they started trying to emphasize the relationship that she had with 47. And like how the two of them were sort of friends, but not friends. And, and like, oh, you've got to kill Diana. Or, but, oh, no, she faked her own death. Oh, here's this random child that you've got to look after, 47. You know, it's, it's kind of like, no, stop it. You, you, are divert you are moving so far away from Hitman. You're becoming something, you know, none of those characters don't matter. 47 would put a bullet in that kid's brain and not lose an ounce of sleep over it because that's who he is. It's like, um, sorry, I know I'm ranting this morning. It's like the Thief series. The new Garrett, you know, with the, the remake, which is awful. Suddenly it's like, he's stealing because it's what he does. It's like, no, you've missed the point of the... It's not... You are just going to places to steal shit. It's not some... Stop trying to flesh out characters that do not need fleshing out, you know? Yeah, story bad. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'll get back to RimWorld. I'm a fan of these things, so when I see the creators of these things try to reinvent the wheel and fuck it up, it does make me sad. <sighs> anyway. Indeed, Claw. But, ah, that, sorry, you say that. So, Diana appears in cutscenes. She was the one that gave you the kiss of death. Did you see her? Did you ever see her face? She was a pair of legs. Or a hat. Or a hand. You never saw her. You never saw Diana. You never saw Diana Burnwood. Like, even the kiss at the end, you know, like, I, I think it's concealed. Like, the camera goes blurry or something. And then you see her legs walk away. She's not... She's just an entity. She's not like a... You know, a character. Never mind. I'll, I'll move on from yeah. Hitman, yeah, Hitman Absolution was garbage. That's my point. Right. Okay. So it's the last day of summer here on the colony. Ah, good cyanide. Really cooking. It's making a cooking sound. Is that new? So he's taking four a stack of four smoke um, leaf. Cool. He's making a couple of joints. Good. Good. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Okay. So oh, uh, let's reassign Emerald's bed. So the bed has been finished and due today. Okay. Nice. So that's freed up one bedroom, which is also quite good. Um, Flying Boy, you can go and take that bed now. You don't have to sleep in the infirmary. Okay. Right, so the colony is winding down and going to bed. Our defences on the south side are, are still pretty lacklustre. Um... We don't really have much steel here, that's the trouble. We've already gone through the two major sources. We're gonna have to go here, and that's quite close to the ancient danger. Some sort of strange bricked off room here. Purpose of which is unknown. Dun dun dun. Hmm. 
Okay, speed up time. Right, uh, so should I send some soldiers on an away team uh, to attack that thing and get the anti-grain missile now that we're in a fairly good place insofar as defense? So if I did, let's just have a quick look. So not Jonah, not Hawk. Singy would be a good candidate due to her power. Well, she's a very capable fighter. Um, Chucky, no, you're a pacifist. Dudaday would be capable. As would Flyboy, good experience for him, and Emerald. So what if we sent just three? So there are five enemies, we'll send three. We don't have the, re the tech for a mortar. We don't necessarily need the mortar and we might hit the anti-grain missile. So if I were to, so if I were to go here, oopsie, to the world, how far is it? So the camp is down there, it's just past some mountain ranges which could cause a problem. So form caravan. So if I said, send Singy, and Flyboy and uh, Emerald. So three three soldiers. So uh, 1.1 day of food. So this is for scavenging for berries on the way. So choose route there, but also back again. Okay, so that's a trip of 1.8 days. Okay. Right. So yeah, they wouldn't need that much food and they can move quickly. 23.6 tiles per day. They've certainly made the traveling thing more merciful. Okay, how many meals could they carry? Oh yeah, they could make this easy. Yeah. Holy shit. Rots in 2.7. Take some meds with them just in case somebody gets injured. Well, not really, Finny. We'll, we'll, yeah, we will be vulnerable without the soldiers. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll sort out Emerald's weapon. We'll get murdered if we have turrets. Then we'll just pull back. So we've got chain shotguns, bolt-action rifles. Hmm. They'll find food there, will they? Okay. Take package survival meals. We, yeah, we did grab some of them, didn't we? Got, got six of them. Okay, we'll do that when they wake up. We'll get them together. We'll get them weapons. They'll get breakfast. And then they can start moving. So long as they keep moving quickly. Okay. And just so long as we just play smart. Play smart. Be clever. Also, can we maybe make a few uh, bed rolls for them? Uh, if they get caught out in the open. What sort of materials do we have? We've got a lot of light leather. Plain leather. Tanned, dried, scraped skin. Good traditional material material for making cloths and bags. Okay. So plain leather. Bed rolls out of uh, plain leather. We'll make three of them. Just in the main room here. Okay. Right, so Hawk is on her feet because she only requires a little bit of sleep. She's off to keep making some meals there. Okay. Thank you, Temper. Thank you very much, Temper. Thank you, sir. Yep, hopefully we don't fuck it up. Okay, people are waking up. Singy's getting some food. Good, good. Okay, welcome Dude Today and Chucky. Good morning, everybody. Emerald's awake. Okay, Emerald, can you go and get a decent weapon? Uh, it's Chucky, before you bugger off and work on those components, can I ask you to start working on those those bed sheets? Yeah, I mean, we'll just try and be sensible. Um, so, Emerald, can you go and grab that normal bolt action rifle and use that? Flyboy, when you wake up, you already have a bolt action rifle. Good, good. And that will leave Singy, who's already got her sword. Now, is anybody wearing some body armor that they could take? Yes, a flak vest here. Flak jacket. Okay, we'll hand... Yeah, Jonah, can you hand over that? Uh, so, Cyanide is also wearing a tainted flak vest. But yeah, he can certainly drop that for the sake of the soldiers. I uh, don't think anybody's wearing a decent helmet. So, drop that flak vest, please. Uh, there we go, he's taking it off. And Singy, could you go and wear that? Same with you, Jonah. Could you... Oh, wait, you're miles away when you come back. Bring that back, at least. Yeah, indeed, meds as well. We'll be taking some meds. Probably a couple of glit Glitter World and... Yeah. And some regular meds. 
We don't really have... Yeah, we don't have a huge amount of meds, so... Hmm. Ah, good. So we finished. So uninstall those, if you please. Right. Chucky's uninstalling those. Good, good. Where's Jonah? Right, we'll send them off. So for those just joining the stream, thank you, Mr. Fenby. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. And then we'll put that on Emerald. I think we're good to go. Very good. Can you just haul those to that storeroom so they're just in one area? Right, okay, so form caravan then. So go to the overworld. And then from here, form caravan. So, Singy with your sword, Emerald with your bolt action, and same with you, dude, uh, not dude today, uh, Flyboy. <coughs> okay, so three soldiers are going to take, oh wait, select route, there we go, and then back again, well, just, there we go. Okay, sorry, uh, don't start there, start with the packaged survival meals that won't rot. Okay, then take ten additional meals just in case. You can carry loads, you'll be fine. Take some bed rolls. Where did they go? Uh, right, take a couple of Glitter World meds and the single other medicine. Uh, 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 uh. Am I going mad? Sorry, where are they? Here they are. Um, okay, so all three bed rolls. Have I forgotten anything? Uh, what about some smoke leaf? Just in case. Things get a bit harsh, you never know. Cool, we're good. Right. Yeah, I think we're good to go, aren't we? So, packaged survival meals, simple meals, medicine, smoke leaf, bed rolls. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Here we go. So, Flyboy, Emerald, and Singy are just getting their equipment. Hopefully this doesn't end badly, fingers crossed. Nice, getting some more steel there. Um, so whilst that's happening, let's also focus on getting some southern turrets going. They're going to be pretty important. Right. So the temperature's also dropping. Well, not too much, actually. It's 24 degrees. I'm headed south, Maisie. There is a, a bandit camp that a villager, a, a village that we're friends with would like us to destroy, and they're willing to give us an anti-grain missile, which is a type of anti-matter, uh, an anti-matter warhead. Which is an extremely powerful weapon. Okay, they're ready to go. Good luck, and good hunting. Right, so they can move quite quickly. Off they go. So yeah, they're moving straight towards that camp in the mountains. Apparently there's only five enemies there, so... We play it carefully, work together. Should be alright. Right, so the remaining five people are left to defend the colony. Yeah, some rhinos. Yeah. Right. Uh, we do have quite a bit of hay grass, which means we could keep some animals alive over the winter if we, ne if we needed to. I wonder if there are any, any muffalo. No. Thank you, Blue Splashy. Thank you very much, Blue. Thank you. I'm looking for muffalos, so, you know, if we could keep them alive. Ooh, there's a grizzly. Oh, dear. If we could keep muffalo alive, we could get muffalo milk and also some wool. Oh, yes, definitely, DJ. Definitely. I've got a whole load of clips for Vietnam, uh, Rising Storm Vietnam. More than enough for probably three or four different bullshitteries. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm currently working on an anti-Stasi, Armour 3 anti-Stasi bullshittery because the patrons and the Twitch subs voted for it. However, the next one is going to be my choice. So we'll alternate it. I'll pick something uh, that's not as popular. Because the less popular ones don't get selected on the polls. And um, I, I think they're, they're just as good. Okay. Right, so Jonah, the evangelist, is just working to get some more steel. Hawk is cooking to make some more meals. Uh, Chucky is bringing in some wood. Why? Oh, he's working on the doors. Good, good. Uh, do today, just going for a walk, relaxing, getting some air. Hmm. And Cyanide is making some smoke leaf joints, which is, I think it's a really good idea. 
Um, seriously, the, the, the stimulant type drugs, especially the low ones like Psychite Tea and Smoke Leaf, can really help. Like if your colony is struggling and people are dying, and the only thing that will get you through the day is just a quick break and a, and a bit of tobacco or whatever, can make the difference, you know. No! The caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. What? How many? I beg your pardon. Two. We should be alright. That's a thing? Holy shit, it's like Fallout Tactics. You can get like random events on the way. Oh no! Man-hunting chinchillas. What on earth are we going to do? Fucking shoot them. Got one. Job done. Caravan battle won. The caravan has won the... Finger quotes, battle. You can reform the caravan now in the world screen by selecting the battlefield and choosing the reformed caravan option. There's no need to collect items manually. The reformed caravan can do so instantly. In one day, the caravan will be reformed automatically. While we're here, is there anything worth pinching? Eh. Nothing really. I mean, you can take the dead chinchillas. <laughs> nah, let's just carry on. Let's not waste our time here. Uh, so where are they? Here. How cool is that? Reform caravan. Uh, and... <laughs> Take two dead chinchillas. There we go. Off they go. How sweet is that? So they've made... So, sorry, when they started and they put in the, the whole travel caravan thing, there was really no point using it because you just send away your people, they'd, they'd run out of food and die. So now it's a, li it's a little easier. They can scavenge food on the way. They can travel faster. Nice. And there are actual events that you can do on the way. Right, so, um, yes, we do need to work on these turrets. Our, yeah, our western defences are also piss poor. Just thin wood and then they're straight in. Also, yeah, we can't have flammable parts of the base. We'll be torched. So we'll try and replace as, as much of it as quickly as we can. What is Chucky doing? Just playing chess to relax. Carry on, sir. Your caravan got ambushed by scythers in the late game. Oh, God. That sucks. Chucky's just making some metal floor to help with the cleanliness. Cleanliness factor. Jonah is just uh, lighting up some tobacco there. Or marijuana, or whatever it is. What is it saying? So, high on smoke leaf. I'm like stoned, man. So, it is marijuana. Okay, nice. So the colony's about halfway there, but they'll they'll rest momentarily. So they've got the bedrolls. Why are there so many lizards in the freezer? We had an iguana manhunting event. <laughs> yeah, Roy, when they get back. Ah, oh, the camp had 500 enemies in it. They were this big. <laughs> right. Okay, so it's uh, 11 in the evening, so people are just winding down to go to bed. The colony feels a little emptier now. Uh, they're resting using three bedrolls. Good, good. Fall has begun, so that's what the Americans call autumn. Autumn has begun. Right. Uh, one heater switched on. Do we need it? Uh, yeah. Well, I'll switch them off for now. We'll, we'll switch on the heaters as like a backup thing if the geothermal vent isn't keeping us warm enough. Let's seal off a portion of the roof. Trap in some warmth. Wait, a tree? There's a, tr <laughs> there's a tree growing in the rec room. Hmm. Yes, America calls it fall because leaves fall down. Just like how you walk on the side of the road. Therefore, it's a sidewalk. <clears throat> well, wild, uh, it, it's, it's different if it's a name. It, it, you know, day, day Z sounds weird. It just sounds really weird. It's clearly Day Z, as in Daisy, like a daisy. Not that a daisy has anything to do with a zombie outbreak, but I'm just saying people everywhere are calling it Daisy. So to call it Day Z, it just sounds fucking 
You sound like an idiot. Right, okay. So, too long didn't read for the people joining the stream and not sticking around when it comes to the, the latest YouTube project. It's anti sazzy Bullshittery Part 3, on request by the patrons and the Twitch subs, and I'm working on it, but it'll be another couple of weeks. Uh, sorry for the length of time but since the last video. I spent about five weeks working on a side project, a cartoon, a bullshittery cartoon of Dungeons and & Dragons. And, oh my god, it's really hard. It's so difficult. Uh, I, I've, I've got a newfound respect for animators because bloody hell, it's, it's just it's just hard. So it's um, it was good though. It was, it was satisfying. You know, it's good to do something new instead of just editing footage that I, that I already had. I was trying to make footage from scratch using Adobe After Effects and little uh, little cartoons that have been made by an artist that I'm commissioning. Two artists, and yeah, they're doing a good job. One of them's already done, so um, so I was paying two artists. One artist would do the characters, the other artist would do the backgrounds. Obviously, the backgrounds are way easier because there's no moving parts. So the background artist is done. I paid her for her work, and um, yeah, everybody's happy. And the character artist has done about, I think, about three and a half out of nine characters. Okay. Right, so the colony's waking up. It's the first day of autumn. Jonah the Evangelist is just yeah. So let, let's get in, let's get in these crops before they um yeah before the temperature falls to the point that they all die. But we certainly can't plant any more. Yeah, don't bother sowing fresh crops. The temperature's just going to fall to the point that it does not matter. Cool. So we're getting some rice. Cyanide and Jonah are working together to get some rice. So how's the away team? Okay. Estimated time to de a destination, 0.3 days. It's quite fast. Okay. Uh, yes, Terro, there's quite a few mods. However, I've previously lost colonies to them, so... Yeah, it's sort of... Once bitten, twice shy sort of situation here. I don't want to lose another one. Cool. So we're getting quite a bit... Yeah, did we finish researching carpet making? No, we're working on it now. Once we do, we'll be able to put in... So the wooden floors here don't provide any sort of beauty value upgrade. But with some carpet, we, we will. And then the beauty levels of the room will be increased. And people will like their bedrooms and get, and get a mood boost. <clears throat> Fuck me. We, we planted this corn at the start of spring and it's not produced one harvest yet. Okay, so it's 10 in the morning. They're on their way. They're, they've nearly arrived. So for the people who didn't see it, this is an away team consisting of three capable fighters who are about to attack five bandits in their outpost over here. Where we've been informed they have an anti-grain warhead. Or do we get a reward anti- No, no, we get rewarded an anti-grain warhead from the other outpost. So presumably if we can take stuff here and steal it, that would also be good. Uh, yes, it is by PC. So at the start of uh, arriving at this creek, we came from the north, five kilometers north of here. Four people got malaria, only two survived. The two who died are here, coloma and sodium. Mm. A vat-grown soldier and a herbalist villager. Oh good, the auto doors are finished. Way faster to move through, as you can see. They don't have to stand there looking like idiots. The door just goes whoop, and they run through. Okay, good. So we're clearing the debris that the enemy would be able to use to, to hide behind. Good. So yeah, definitely haul this away. Deny the enemy any chance to hide. Thank you, Grey. Thank you very much, Grey. Thank you, sir. Also, build a trap here and here for when the enemy try to use that area as cover. Yes, indeed. No concrete on the doors. So, yeah, we'll fix that. Don't worry. Okay, so the away team is about to arrive. So, as they march forward through this mountain pass, they can see lights in the distance. They see a small gathering of people. And they're ready to go. 
generating map for the new encounter. Caravan has arrived at the outpost. Flyboy's caravan has arrived at the outpost. There is an enemy outpost in the area. No! Okay, what have we got? So we have five defenders. That's an incendiary launcher, a shotgun, two pistols. Sorry, where's the last guy? He must be inside. And they have an auto turret on the northwest side, which can be blocked entirely by attacking them this way. We're okay. So let's start moving this way around the edge. Are they going to... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Careful, they're pushing us. Are they... No, what are they doing? We should be alright. Yes, yeah, so they do have an incendiary launcher, but we should be okay. So their names are Kate, Chicken, Christina, and Laura. Sorry, where's the last one? Oh, there. So, can I just check them quickly? So, um, is there anyone like who'd be super useful that maybe tried to get them to survive? Well, the trouble is none of them are um, melee, so... If they're melee, then it's easier if we just punch them in the face when they run up to us. So, staggeringly ugly 15-year-old. No. Oh, an incredibly intelligent 53-year-old human computer. It's good at shooting and crafting. Good lord, the one with the incendiary launcher would be one hell of a catch. If we can, if we can bring her home alive. Can, can we do that? Can we bring prisoners back? Is that okay. A very capable fighter is Kate. It's a shame they've got a shotgun. For them. A psychopath. Very good with plants. Hmm. So chicken would be a helpful colonist. Uh, a beautiful seventy-year-old 70 year man. Okay. Iron, iron. Yeah. Whatever. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I guess. Right. Um. So may if we can't, we'll see. So maybe Christina and Chicken, if we can take them, if. I'm honestly, I, I doubt we can. We'll see. We can't exactly save them from fatal injury. Hang on. Right, so. We're in position. So we can avoid the turret entirely. So Flyboy's got a shot. Emerald, move here. Here we go. So Flyboy, what are you aiming at? So that's Christina. Yeah, go for chicken if we can. Careful. Okay, here we go. They're attacking. Good luck, everybody. Okay, so the flyboy. Can you instead go for the one with the shotgun? You two, Emerald. Focus them down. Okay, so hold up, Singy. So they're getting full cover. So definitely go for the one with the shotgun. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, this is not bad. Singy, move around the edge and go for the one with the pistol. Go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Shit, watch out for that one. So Singy runs around to the side to stab uh, Adamus there. Watch out for that grenade. It's going for Emerald. Move south quickly. Avoid it. Okay, here comes the incendiary launcher. Get ready to avoid this. Move back. Get ready. There it goes. Okay, Emerald move back into cover. So I've just got to micromanage this a bit. Right, so they switched their target, so that's good. Go there. Now, quick. Okay, watch out, Singy. You've got to move. You two aim for... Laura. In fact, no, aim for... Oh, no, I want to take Christina alive if possible. Move it, Singy. Move it, Singy. Singy, Singy, Singy! Oh, God. She's been injured, but it's not too bad. Quickly keep pushing. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is not going in our favor, folks. Okay, move this way, Singy, to take cover from their fire. Come on, you guys with the, the bolt actions need to do something here. Fuck. Where's that going? We're okay. Move back there. What are you two doing? Fuck, I don't know. Who's wounded the most? Two of them, hang on. Okay, move, Singy. Move, 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 Singy. Okay, then back. Damn, I wish I had an auto shotty here. Okay. Fuck, not good for us. Emerald, move. Move. Oh dear. This has gone wrong for us, folks. Okay, Singy, get in there. Quick. Shit, Flyboy's in the open. Headshot on Christina, at least. Damn, okay, Flyboy's running out burning. Emeralds. Who are you going to shoot? Fuck, not good. Oh, no! Flyboy's been downed. Thingy, don't catch fire. Keep pursuing if you can. Oh, no! I think it's gone very horribly wrong, folks. Oh, no! 
It has gone very horribly wrong. Singy has also been downed. Shit! How did they take us? I thought we had this. Flyboy's burning. Fuck! We've lost. Shall Emerald just get the fuck out of here? Oh, man. God damn it. Can we still win? Is there a way out of this? Right. Back away. Emerald, get some range on them. Their weapons are pretty shit on the range. Damn, Flyboy's burning. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, start shooting. What are you going to go for? Go for that one. There, one down. Okay, how bad did Laura hurt? Not at all. Okay, get a shot off. One more before she throws a nade. Okay, then pull back. Go. Here comes that nade. There we go. Follow it up on that one. Damn, come on, you got to land the shots. Doesn't matter much if you don't land the shots. Okay, quickly back away again. Go, 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 go. Okay, get ready. Go. Use the range to your advantage. Damn it. He'll die in 13 hours, but he's obviously on fire, which is a bigger problem. Go, 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 go. It's fine. It's a miss. Right, can you hit chicken? Is it, does he have full cover? Keep moving, Emerald. So the, it's the uh, test subject... The military test subject that she was now relies on her weird lab training. It all comes flooding back to her. The exercises, the drills. All she hears is the screaming of her former instructor. Come on, you've got to land these shots, Emerald. Keep moving. If you don't land the shots, it won't matter. Come on. Damn. A bullet just hit her in the head. It hit her in the eye. Fuck me. That's a huge problem. That's going to affect her aiming. Emerald just got shot in the left eye. Keep moving. Good lord. Come on. Keep working him down. Oh no! Now she's burning. She's panicked. It's over. Fuck it. Unless you can recover from this. Keep going. Keep going. Fuck. No, that eye shot screwed her. Fuck. And that fog. Fog's descended as well. Reducing the accuracy of range of weapons. Flyboy screaming. He's burning alive. Okay. Can you just bum rush her? Just fucking bum rush her. Take away the advantage of those nades. Okay, Singy's up on her feet. Grab that gladius quickly, Singy. Can you put Flyboy out? Cannot extinguish fire, not in the home area. Even if he did. Maybe. Extinguish that fire as quickly as it can. Right, Emerald is fighting in melee against Laura. Okay, she's trying to flee. Fuck. Pull back, keep moving. Oh, she's been shot again. Oh no, Emerald's down. Fuck. Singy, just run. Just get the fuck out of here, Singy. Just go. Just run, 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 run. Okay, hang on. So, reform. Can we reform? There's still some enemies in the area. Can we not just, like, flee? Is, do we have the option to flee? Can we flee, or is that not a thing? Okay, so run to the base. Fuck. What can she do? Can she get the door open? Watch out for that turret thingy. Wait, why are they powered down? Singy will die anyway through blood loss. In 17 hours, she's very tough. Melee attack marble door. We'll never get through it. Fuck. The turret's down at least. Flyboy's died. He's burnt to death. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Can we get in? 84. I'm trying to get in so that we can at least have melee protection. Um What's that thing connected to? No, it's already it's inside the base. If we run to the edge, can we escape, guys, or is that not a thing?
Move to the edge of the map to flee. Alright, just try singing. Just go. The turret can't get you because it's got no power. Okay. Go, just limp away. So the 18 year old cannibal in agony is trying to limp as best she can to the edge to escape the bandits. Fuck. They're not doing too well either, frankly. Can she turn it around? No, fuck it. Just get the fuck out. She's too badly injured. One decent hit and she's down. Let's go. Run, run, run. Yeah, a lot of them will bleed to death. Run, Singy. Laura's right behind you. Oh, she's going to try and throw, in, throw a nade. Oh, God. Dude, today's not going to be happy. The death of his girlfriend. Emerald, can you get back up and flee? Or is dies in four hours. Your eye's been shot out. Serious blood loss. I think you're screwed. Okay. Okay, she's out. Fucking hell. That went really badly. If only we had some auto shotties or something. The range was way closer than I was expecting. So they got really close to us where their, their pistols would be effective. And we just could not land our shots. Fuck. Caravan lost. Emerald was captured by them. So she lived. Fuck. So Flyboy was killed. We saw him die. He burnt to death. But Emerald has been captured by this other faction. Fuck me. Okay. So, uh, Singy, can, can you even survive? Is that... Can you make it? So days of food, none. Forage, 1.4. What happens if you try to... Do you have to stop and patch yourself up? So hang on. Your health. So you'll die in 16 hours if you don't see to your wounds. Make a new caravan to save... Em well, hang on. Let me just move a little bit distant and see if we have to stop. So she's resting right now, just on the periphery. Self-tend. Can I enable self-tending? Don't banish. She patches up herself up automatically if she has self-tending self -tending on. Um, how do I enable that through here? Sorry. Normally I go here and health screen, self-tend. Uh, health screen. Uh, banish. Uh, self-tend. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, is that something she's just patched herself up? Yeah, look, she's patching herself up. Okay, she's, so she's trying her best to pull out the fragmentation that's in her head. She's also got some, yeah, some frag, yeah, just general chest wounds. It's not too bad. Singy's very tough. Yeah, got overconfident. It's exactly what happened to Porter and Neville and, uh, what's her name? Uh, Porter, Neville and something in tundra fall we sent an away team they were wiped out they got bum rushed shit 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 okay well i have to see how she does on food we might need to stop and forage okay so for those joining uh the colony has suffered a setback we made an attack on a nearby bandit group at the behest of a f an allied village they were offering us a very powerful antimatter warhead. We failed. Our three warriors were sent. One was killed, one was captured, and the other one is trying her best to make it back home with severe, well, with moderate injuries. Well, you've got to take risks, uh, Roy. I mean, an anti anti grain warhead, had we succeeded, that could have saved our ass for an event we don't yet know about. We may now have doomed the colony, you know? through failing okay so back home they're all completely unaware that this is happening it's now uh, well one in the morning Hawk is awake but she's already awake holy shit she's just preparing food right 
So the south side turrets need a lot of work. Okay, where's Singy? Yes, yeah, she's resting. So health-wise, has she patched up her injuries? Uh, well, obviously she's the doctor, so... So how can I see her? Oh, it's here. Yeah, so she's patched up her injuries as best she could. Thank you, Al Capone. Thank you very much, Al. Thank you. Starvation, Singy. So with no food, she's going to begin starving. Her mood is dropping very rapidly. She's sleeping, though. Okay. So let's move on maybe one tile away and see if we can scavenge some berries or something. Malnourished, intense pain. So as she starts moving, so it's five in the morning. So she's no longer resting. She's out of food. So what happens if she just... She's run out of food. So she, she's getting some food. She must be scavenging berries. Alright. So is it worth stopping, do you think? We'll stop and look for food in the next tile. Thank you, Ibs G. Thank you very much, Ibs G. Thank you. Check her tab. So, blood loss. Oh, God, she's hurt. Yeah, let, let's stop her in this tile and see what we can find. Rest. What does that mean? Start resting. This is the following benefits. People can interact socially. Forage for food two times faster. Should we do that? Forage for food two times faster? Send caravan with food halfway. Well, can she not find it on her own? Hang on. So long as she has some food, it's good. So hang on. If I just click rest, does, does she gather food or... I see. There's... No. Right. So let's um, let's at least spawn the area then. So settle. Generate the map. See if we can find some berries that she can stockpile in her infantry. Okay. Good morning, Novi. Good morning indeed. Well, there's a wolf right there. That would be a shitty way to die. Let's have a look around. So there are quite a few berry bushes and many that we can harvest that are near enough. Start cutting them down and stuffing your face. Thank you, Runan Fell. Thank you very much, Runan. How's her mood? Very low. Yeah, just eat them for Christ's sake. Just get them down your throat. Don't stop. Okay. That's helped a little bit. Yeah, she's witnessed. Wait, it said two colonists died. Maybe that means that. Hmm. Maybe that means that Emerald did indeed succumb to her injuries. Uh, that's possible. I mean, she was severely wounded. Sad wonder do today. Because of his... Yeah, so Emerald's dead. She did... Yeah. Okay, so... His friend Emerald and his lover Emerald. So he's got a 30-day debuff. Do today's going to be sad for quite some time. His girlfriend has been killed. That sucks. Right. As for singing, you just need to, to gather as many berries as you can. Feed yourself fully. Right. I mean, is it worth possibly butchering some animals to get some meat as well? Raw meat will be quite disgusting. Can you cook? No. Uh, right, hang on. Just put down a stockpile zone. Gather some berries. Yeah, just do your best. Get what we can. I'll leave her for a few minutes. Shit! Okay. So back at the base, we still have important things to do. We've got to work on our defence. So, uh, due today is too sad to go mining. What about Jonah? Good. So we've got a whole bunch of compacted steel that's at least available. So the ancient danger's there, so we're safe to retrieve this. Um, Chucky, what's Chucky doing? Consuming a meal. When you're done, could I ask you to go... Oh, you can't go hauling. Cyanide is making joints. Can you go and haul some of this in? Because we need to get the southern turrets operational if we're going to defend the colony. They'll, re they'll require steel, 100 apiece, and components. How many components do we have available? Uh, we have... 
four, so we're going to need more. Machine components, for some reason, can be mined from this wall. Don't know what that's about, but... Hmm. Also, retrieve that gold where possible, because then we can use it to make a royal bed. A double bed with basically gold um, uh, patterns on it. Artwork. It helps. It ups the rest value on it. Okay. Did she get it? No. She's got none of the gear apart from her sword. Harvest botched. She's just sleeping on the floor. Maybe we should send somebody with some meals. They'll be able to move quickly. We could send Sai. Yeah. Sai. Um, grab some... Yeah. He'll, he'll be able to cover, cover a lot of ground really quickly. Okay, so, Sai, so go to the world screen. What am I doing? Sorry. Go here. And say, I want to form a caravan with just cyanide with his shotgun. I want you to take a stack of meals. Three. Yeah. Move as quick as you can. And, uh, yeah, you can move 16.2 tiles a day. Uh, yeah. Choose route. I want you to get over there as quick as you can. Take one, one and a half days. Okay. Start moving as fast as you can. Right. Silo's going to grab the, grab the stuff. Oh, wait. After he's done his hauling job. Leave it, dude. Just come on. Singy needs your help. Thank you, Maniac. Thank you very much, Maniac. Thank you. He's off. Okay. Food will spoil. You should be fine. The last couple of days. Thank you, the Nobo. Thank you very much, the Nobo. Okay, he's moving. Right. Uh, I don't know what that is, Michael. Okay, so dude today stopped wandering around in sadness long enough to get some food, but he's still going to be very upset for a long time. So Singy has an extreme break risk. I'm sorry, sorry, Singy, you have to wake up. It's a survival situation now. Get on your feet. Focus. Okay. Uh, frankly, yeah, just grab those berries and just start moving. Okay. Damn, botched. No, no, what just happened? Catatonic breakdown. God damn it. She's just, she's curled up in a fetal position. And is now just shivering. She can't handle it. Fuck. It takes Sai a day to get there. God damn it, Singy. Whole body catatonic breakdown. Out in the open as well. Fuck. At least it's not freezing. Right. Okay, so the remaining four people back at the colony. Uh, yeah, we, we really do need to get these turrets done, Chucky. It's so urgent. You have to get them ready. If we get attacked now, it's just the turrets, really. Jonah and Hawk, maybe. But Dude today is going to be pissing himself, crying about his girlfriend. Okay. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's not gone well, has it, social? It really hasn't. Size pegging it. It'll take some time to get there, though. Singy just curled up crying in the rain. To be fair to her, she did watch two two of her friends die, and she's severely wounded. When Sai arrives, is there a place where we can put her? We'll move her in here. At least get her get her underneath a roof. Oh, there is no roof.
Well, maybe so I can carry her. Hmm. She's happy about Emerald dying. Is she really? Oh yeah, Emerald was her rival. But all the same, she has the minus so 10 debuff. But the fact that she saw them die. Okay. Indeed, energetic. They died on my orders. But I was hoping that they would succeed. Lesson learnt. Next time, bring a close range option for the grenadier and the pistol guys running at you. And also, maybe I should have prioritized the one with the incendiary launcher, for they caused my people to, to uh, run around in a panic on fire. But I wanted to take her alive. Lesson learnt there then. No prisoners. Okay, size moving as best he can, but it's about to be the evening, so he's going to rest in a moment. Catatonic breakdown. Shit. That was a predator. Was that the wolf? Seeing he's helpless. Okay, one turret operational. Good, good. I'll switch it off for now. Also, we still haven't fixed that outer door. That needs to get done. Chucky, can you do that before you go to bed? Otherwise, we can't seal the damn base if we get attacked by whatever. Okay, so Chucky is just... Uh, sorry, Cyanide is resting. Can I overrule it? No, he's resting at night. Suppose he's too tired to go on. Yeah. Just hang in there, uh, Singy. Cyanide is almost there. So long as he hasn't eaten, eaten all the food, it should be fine. How can I see what he's carrying? There we go. Well, 12 meals. Cool. So it's midnight. The four remaining people back at Coloma's Rest, uh, Coloma's Creek, have gone to bed. Starvation singing. Mm. Oh, oh no! Stand by. A short... Oh, no, it's fine. Cool. It was a short circuit event, so the batteries have been drained. But it shouldn't be a problem because it took place on concrete, so it's not flammable. So as part of the base defences here, I've built concrete and brick and, and sandbags. So in the event of an enemy wielding an incendiary launcher, in theory, the only thing that should burn will be the patch of incendiary fuel that will be spattered all over the floor as the, as the shell explodes. But beyond that, it won't spread ho uh, horrendously out of control. All over the defences. Hmm. But of course we do need to work on those other bits there. The doorway. Okay. So for those people just joining the stream, I hope you're all, I hope you're all okay and having a nice week. So yeah, we're just trying our best to survive after a very botched attack on a nearby bandit settlement. I got greedy. They had something I wanted. I attacked them. We failed. Two people died. And now the, the last one, the survivor, a scared 18-year-old teenage, uh, well, teenage girl is curled up in the dirt, crying. And Cyanide is rushing to be the hero to save her. Hopefully Singy doesn't get the munchies and immediately attacks Cyanide for food because she is a cannibal. Cancel rest? You can cancel rest? Oh, no. What? Oh, shit. Back at... Oh, God. Okay, back at... Uh, back at the colony, yeah? Tell me it's the colony. Tell no way! Oh, it's just one rat, though. Shit, cyanide. Singy's about to get eaten by a rat. A single, a single angry rat. It, you've got to race the rat. Can he make it? He's a kilometer away. No! He's 0.1 days away from the destination. A man-hunting rat is about to rip Singy's throat out. Where is it? Oh no. Oh no, that would be a horrible way to die. That would be a really horrible way to die. Singer, you gotta get up. Where is it? Wildlife. Singer can't walk. Where's the rat? Fuck. 
Man hunting rat. Is, is, is it? Has it not noticed Singy because she's downed? That would be an. In no, Cyan I can fight, and he's got a shotgun. He's not very, not very good. Thank you, unknown. Thank you very much, unknown. Cyan, I'd run. Fucking run. Down people don't get attacked. Okay, that's good. Whew. Okay, so Sai's arrived. He's here. Get your shotgun. Get ready to fight that rat as it comes towards you. Let's go, Sai. <laughs> this is where Sai gets killed by a rat. Thank you, Lieutenant Goose. Thank you, Lieutenant. There's some silver there. Uh... Where is it? I hear it. There it is. Nope, it's a rabbit. Oh, it's behind you. Fuck, it's so small I didn't notice it. Um, turn around and shoot it. Oh, sigh. Just kick it. Thank you. Ah, he took a, a slight scratch, but he's all right. Okay. Go and pick her up. Quick. Rescue her. Uh, we need to put her somewhere safe. Um, so can you just pick her up? It, it's so, uh, hmm. so can I just reform this? Form caravan. And then items. What happens to the items he's carrying? He didn't just drop them back back there, did he? Tell me he didn't. No, he's still, still in his size inventory, yeah? Yeah, here they are. Alright, just get, get over here. Just get to where she is first, and then we'll plan the next move. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll just get we'll get her in one area. We'll just have a rest, yeah. Where is he? There he is. So claim this small bit of, yeah, whatever. Okay. Not assigned to construction. That can be remedied. You're not very good at it. Just, just pull that down. This is where it's the ancient danger, but it's really small. <laughs> there we go. And then stick her in there. Just, just get, rescue her. Okay, you've got enough food to to last for the minute. And then drop some of the food and feed her because she's starving. Um, come over here. Uh, and then, yep, drop some of... Yeah, drop a simple meal. And then feed... Her. No, don't strip her. Don't do anything weird. Uh, doctor, there we go. There we go, feed her. Thank you, Beastie. Hi there, Beastie. Uh, that's ZF Beastie, everybody. Feel free to say hi to him. So we have ZF Social and ZF Beastie both in the chat. Yeah, Beastie's like flipping OG ZF from fucking like long back, way back during ugh, Daisy Mod days. You alright, Beastie? How you doing, man? Okay, so she can lie there for a bit, get some rest. Ah, stop. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, move the stockpile zone in here. There you go, haul that in. Thank you, sober, uh, sober, sober Irishman. Thank you, sober. Thank you kindly. And Dr. Fuzzy. Thank you, Dr. Fuzzy. Or Dr. Fuzzy, even. Sorry. Thank you. All right, so what can Sai do while he's here? Um, handle animals, grow crops, smithing. He's mostly a crafter, isn't he? Okay. Yeah, just bring the berries in. Gather as much food as you can before we leave. No, I didn't bring meds with us. Do we have any heal root in the area? Oh, well, we do. There's a few right here. And he's pretty good at harvesting, so... Okay. Chop some wood, make a door. Could do, yeah. It's fairly warm, at least. Good. Yeah, good to hear you well, Beastie. Yeah, go get a sword. Um, focus on... Oh, not assigned to... Really? Not assigned to plant cutting. Go and chop these down. Mm. 
A meteorite has been detected. Comes crash landing over here. Slate. Hmm. A slate meteorite. Cool. Can we use these herbal meds on her? Does she need them? No. But you probably do. Self-tend yourself. Just treat those injuries that you've got. So he picks up some whatever herb this is and starts rubbing it on his injuries in order to stop the bleeding. Hi there, Olapi. Hello. Thank you, Oracles. Thank you very much, Oracles. So for those who have just joined the stream, we just had a bit of a disastrous away team. Three soldiers sent on an attack mission to a nearby village to in, to try and uh, well try and get a reward in the form of an anti-grain missile, a sort of anti-matter missile that's another that another another colony had gotten a hold of, an artifact of the old world. We failed. We failed spectacularly, and two of the three died, leaving the survivor, a terrified, wounded, 18-year-old girl, confused and curled up in a fetal position about a kilometer away. Cyanide has made the journey as quickly as he could, about nine kilometers south to reach her. Okay, just going for a walk. Yeah, up your recreation. That's good. Yeah, she's not in a good place right about now. Hopefully she can pick herself out of this catatonic state fairly soon. Cy, in the meantime, can maybe get a door on there. Yeah, we'll chop down some trees. Gather food. Emerald was captured, but we now have the debuff to say that Emerald died, so presumably she didn't survive her injuries. They were severe. Okay. Chucky left behind. I'm going to need you to focus on plant cutting and... Wait, not Chucky. Plant cutting and farming, because we need to bring in that harvest now that it's autumn. Who are my remaining fighters? Jonah, Hawk, Dudaday, and Singy. So, but they're all middling. I mean, Singy's the only really capable warrior remaining. Again. Good. The south side turrets are looking better. So we have four. They're not in the greatest positions and certainly don't have their own sandbag defenses. At least not all of them, but it's something. Thank you, Nexorus. Thank you very much, Nexorus. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> well, you should uh, give it a go, Callo uh, Finks. If you, if you, if you're considering it, it's really good. Okay, Chucky's going off to keep working on building. Carry on, sir. <laughs> Pardon me. Seeing he's still resting. Oops, I didn't put a sleeping spot for Sai. Go rest there. <sighs> They've got enough meals for now. Cyanide has been fully healed. Good, good. Turn the turret off. I just moved. Ah, thank you. So, in about 20 minutes, folks, I need to bugger off and go and get on with editing today. So, between 1 o'clock and 8 o'clock, I just edit videos that end up on YouTube. Takes forever, though. Holy shit. Okay. Silver Lightning says, you think heel root is supposed to, ge supposed to be genetically engineered? That has a chemical compound like aspirin, antimicrobials, and coagulants. Oh. Wouldn't surprise me. There's plenty of high-tech stuff going on. And, uh... I'm uh, well, invasive species, I would assume. Roy Sheen says you almost lost your entire 45 year playthrough. Uh, one escape colonist. Two. Huh? Okay. Oh. Ah, damn. With, with the loss of Flyboy, there goes our principal researcher. Bollocks. Also, if you find yourself curious, beneath the stream is uh, one of the tiles on, on Twitch is a RimWorld Google Doc, which contains a list of all of the colonists who are currently active or, well, alive or dead. 
and uh, a quick blurb on what they got up to. So I'll update that list as we go. You can check the other tab and find Tundra Fall as well if you like. Where is it? Hang on. So yeah, it's got like a list of, of people and what they did and who died and how. So yeah, we're playing as the Plains Dwellers. But the former the former faction was at Tundra Fall. They were the Ice Cats. And um, yeah, just a quick overview of what they did. Right. Okay, so the colony's gone to bed, so it's 10 in the evening on the fourth day of autumn. Yes, Tundrafall successfully escaped. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, remem I remember that too, Albino. I tried... Yeah, I, I, I wondered if perhaps the wiki format would be useful for, uh, you know, for, for a sort of crowd-type activity like XCOM, you know, where we have soldiers who get, who get named. But I thought it would, but nah, it wasn't wasn't as handy as I thought it would be. Better to just have a quick Google Doc. Easy peasy. Right. Okay. So Cyanide's... Yeah, he's gotten over his injuries, really. He was a friend of Flyboy. No one seemed to like Emerald. Hmm. Well, apart from Dude today, who's now probably going to be quite lonely. Need to watch out for Dude today. Since he doesn't accept drugs... Or alcohol to, uh, well, smooth over his pain. He's going to be cranky for a long time. True, she was very new. Okay, major break risk. Hawk, uh, ravenously hungry. Oh, she's waiting for a doctor. Um, okay, we don't really have one back at the main colony, do we? Um, Chucky, maybe? Okay, Chucky, can you just wake up and tend to Hawk and then feed her? She's got asthma, you see. Yeah, you just use the herbal meds that we've got. Okay, so Sai is awake. Yeah, just get some wood while we're there. Hmm. Get the door on just in case something horrible happens. And um, oh, we did spot some silver down here. That could be very useful. Can it, can cyanide mine though? Uh, no, he's pretty terrible. Skill of zero. Never mind that then. It takes so long to mine. There's no point really. But he's fairly good at plant cutting. Well, skill of six out of twenty. Let's get some wood. <laughs> Well, no, it's good. It's good to see the um, the second wave JMG. But uh, as mentioned, uh, as I keep mentioning, I've I've been on the roller coaster of WoW. It's ups and it's downs. Played it pretty much pretty much nothing but WoW for about five years, from 2005 to uh, 2000 and wait, like the end of Kata, just before the mists of Pandaria. I've 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 done it all. I've seen it all. You know. I uh, don't. I also don't. I kind of don't want to get. Suck back into that train. It uh, sucked back into that world because you know I'll have trouble leaving it again. And even if you bring back WoW Classic, you can't really bring back the friends and connections. They've all moved on, you know. It would be a an exercise of just nostalgically remembering the good times and not being able to recreate them. Okay. Starvation singy. Is she okay? No, she's starving. Son, I didn't need to feed her. Right. How do you know what's what? Silver and stuff. Different colours. So compacted steel is this colour. Uh, the yellow, the sort of piss stain yellow is machinery. This blue is plast steel. And down here, the, well, the grey is silver. So silver, well, the silver is silver ore. Come on, I just need Singy to get on her feet. Can you cheer her up? No. Is Cyanide any good at construction? Skill of zero. 
Thank you, Zarvis. Thank you very much, Zarvis. Thank you. Is there a roof on that, at least? Yeah, see how much wood we can haul back while, in, while he's waiting to do stuff. Yeah, just got to grab a sword as well. Don't forget that. Hey. Uh, bandit camp request. What's this? Sorry. Oh, it's another one. Yeah, so this is the same problem that we... Yeah, look at this. Jesus, what a what a wonderful thing they're dangling in front of us. The Prime Counselor of the our Allied Clan, the Joberium, has sent us a message. Bandits are raiding their caravans. They want us to destroy their camp. They'll give us an infinite chem reactor. Jesus. And a marine helmet. Excellent. 19 days to do it. A short distance away. No. And only five enemies again, see? No. That, that's exactly what we fell for. We don't. We can't now, anyway. We just don't have the, the fighters. Um, Sana thinks we should give the settlement a name. <laughs> Singy, wake the fuck up. This community, this community is now known as Singy Wake the Fuck Up. Which is going to be scribbled on a sign next to this small hut, which is going to confuse the ever-loving shit out of any passerby later. Who's Singy? Cool. Can you hold this wood over here? Cool. And then can you go foraging? Um... Yeah, we just need as much, as many berries as we can for the journey back. She's had, well, she's not, she's not um, sleeping. She's, oh no, she is sleeping right now. But she's had a catatonic breakdown, a mental breakdown. I believe I can carry her, but I prefer her to get up on her feet. Thank you, Radiant. Thank you, man. Come on, we need to get back home. My God. How long does it take to fucking grow corn? It's bullshit. Also, Chucky, I thought I told you to go and work on the crops. No, evidently not. Can you go get the corn? No, don't make sculptures. What are you doing? Oh, fine. Catatonic breakdown can last for days. Yeah. Don't mind that. Just go and get berries. Oh, finally, she's up. She's on her feet. Okay, serious pain, recreationally deprived. Go for a walk, Singy. Hang on. Restrict. Uh, no, wait. Uh, assign. Recreation, Singy. Just go for a walk or watch the sun or something. I need your recreation to be higher before we go. Oh, no, she's hauling everything. Should we just go? Let's just go. Get your sword. Let's just go. Thank you, Bob Rules and Spotty. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Right, so from Singy, wake the fuck up. Form caravan. Get together. Uh, simple meals. Berries. Herbal meds. Uh, be be berries? Berries. Uh, wood as much as we can carry. Um, so you'll move 4.6. Yeah, so we'll make it. We'll make it. Okay. Let's go. Choose route back home. Two days. So, f uh, days of food, 1.7. So, we'll be hungry when we arrive, but we'll make it. Um, what if we were to drop the wood? Uh, move 20 tiles versus 11 tiles. Okay. Um, do we really need the wood? <sighs> uh, nah, we don't. Just, Just get them home. Never mind. Just, just bring them home. Go on. Let's go. Sing inside. Get your stuff. Let's go. Get home as quick as you can. Shit. Okay. They're on their way back. Let's abandon this place. Let's go. Right. Another another ten minutes, folks. Then I need to bugger off.
Chucky just working on a steel trap to catch Raiders' legs as they try to attack us. We still need to improve the south side defences. That's pretty certain. Put a power switch here. And we'll just temporarily make a couple of... Uh, whoops. This won't be permanent by any measure. But it'll be something. Okay. Uh, and then this one. And what we do is we put the power conduits doing this. Okay. And then we'll have our own sandbags here. And we'll align, we'll align some traps in a similar fashion. Steel traps to catch people's legs. Whoops, that's wrong. Okay. Break down these sandbags. They're not required. Right, cool. So the main colony has Jonah the Evangelist, Hawk the Food Taster, Chucky the Artist, and Dude Today the very, very sad geologist because he just lost his girlfriend. Uh, sort of trying to stay alive back home while Singy the Cannibal Teenager and Cyanide the Weaver, the Tailorer, are making their way home. They're just sleeping before they move. We've recently lost two... Well, we lost Flyboy and Emerald, two of our fighters. Emerald being... Uh, due to today's girlfriend, they're on their way home. What's with the gap between the traps? You can't put the traps directly next to each other. Game won't let you. Finally, some corn. Right. Okay. Uh, also, remove that floor, because that's useful bricks. Definitely. We should also probably move this stockpile zone. Uh, stockpile the bricks somewhere else. Certainly not there. Uh, so, stockpile zone. Uh, not entirely sure where, truth be told. We don't have a lot of room. Here is good enough for now. Clear all, apart from manufactured... Uh, no, wait. Raw resources. St not stone blocks. Where is it, then? Buildings? No. Manufactured. Am I going insane? Stone blocks. Here we go. And steel as well. We can leave those outside, you see. They don't decay. We can just stack up bricks and steel and leave them in the rain and the snow. It's all good. Okay. Right, so uh, they'll take... Yeah, so they'll be here before the end of the day. So, Singy and Cyanide. So, it's currently 7 in the morning on the 6th day of autumn. There's 15 days per season, so things are going to get colder. It's 2 degrees outside. It's, uh, well, 15 degrees inside next to the vent. But all the same, I think now would be a good time to close off the roof with some corrugated metal, sealing the geothermal vent inside and spreading the warmth. Okay. We should also get one vent here to at least make sure that... Uh, the warmth is spread into the bedrooms through all of these vents. Good. The freezer's a bit... Yeah, we've got more insulation on the freezer now, so... Uh, hooray! So when this gets super warm, this shouldn't cause problems. Is it better to grow multiple plants or rotate crops between different things? I don't believe so. Most people just seem to grow lots and lots of rice because it's by far the fast growing. The fastest growing, even. Oh, no. Okay. Jonah, the evangelist, has become addicted to smoke leaf. He now needs smoke leaf. Uh, sorry, he now has a need for smoke leaf visible on his needs tab. He will automatically consume the drug to fulfill his need. If he cannot get any smoke leaf, he will go into withdrawal. So insofar as, with, you know, as drugs go, that's not too bad. He could have like a dependence on luciferium. The uh, withdrawal symptoms of which are lethal. But nevertheless, yeah, he just needs... He just need, needs a bit of the Mary Jane. 
to get through the day. Ba 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 da da ba. Okay, right. So Singy's on her way back. The injury, yeah, she's getting over her injury. She's in a little pain, but she's mostly okay. The two of them should be fine. They've got three simple meals between them and some berries. They'll be hungry when they arrive, but they'll get here. Right. Okay. The base is a bit cramped. We could certainly do with more space. We should probably move and expand. Yeah, this is why the southern defences are a bit slapdash and temporary. I need to sort of take up this whole area, really. Yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, let's... Uh, alternatively, we could just go out here, couldn't we? Either or is fine. Let's start with this. So build a... Well, no, we can't. It's mud. All right. That, that decides that, then. Let's uh, start building a granite wall out here to expand the edge of the base. And then we can get access to some... Hell, hell we could always move the growing zone this way so that do get access to the rich soil. Hmm. Right. Ba -da 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 -da. Dude today still very upset about the death of his girlfriend. He's going to be upset for a good season. Yeah, it's a pretty harsh debuff. My lover died, I'm so alone. Expires in 16... Uh, sorry, in 26 days. And his friend Emerald died. Expires in 16 days. Such a wonderful person, gone forever. The universe gets darker every day. Thank you, Vriska Key. Thank you, Vriska Key. Thank you. What would I like to see being added or removed or generally changed in RimWorld? Uh, not sure, really. Can't, so far, so good. I can't really think of anything major that would... You know, that would need to be drastically altered. Hmm. Right. Maybe, I mean, they do this in mods, of course, but maybe up the chances of people being related to each other. Really make it feel like this is a cryo ship accident. Or whatever, you know. A, a, cru a cruise liner of people who know each other. Familial relations are a little bit rare when it comes to raiders and stuff. Hi there, Ash Emeralds. I'm afraid you did, Ash Emeralds, in the chat. You took part in a raid on a bandit camp to the south alongside Singy and Flyboy. Uh, you were killed. You were the last one up, though. So Singy was downed when she ran into melee and tried her best but couldn't quite survive. Flyboy was similarly downed by an incendiary round and burnt to death screaming. Uh, then you started kiting them at a distance with your bolt-action rifle. You were doing pretty well, but you just couldn't seem to land the shots with the bolt-action. You just couldn't seem to get them in, get them to hit their targets. And then somebody fired a pistol and got a very lucky shot right through your left eye. At that point, it was over. You couldn't aim properly down the scope. So they just chased you down and, well, wounded you. But you died of your injuries later when they captured you. As for Singy, she was able to stagger to her feet and and desperately crawl and yeah, yeah, stagger out of the uh, out of the camp, where she collapsed about a kilometer away and started crying. Um, and we sent a rescue mission, cyanide, with some meals to go and get her. So she had a catatonic breakdown, watching the death of Emerald and Flyboy. And um, yeah, so we're just dealing with the aftermath. Hi there, SWAT Knight. Uh, ZF SWAT Knight is in the chat, folks. Our resident Prussian. Okay. Was it both eyes, Knight, or just the one? I only saw one eye. Her left eye got shot with a pistol bullet. Which must have hurt like hell. Okay. Good. The two switches are here, so we can now hopefully control, depending on where they're hooked up to. Um, oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, we need to alter the wiring here so it goes through the switch. Oops. Don't take down the wall. Uh, uh, 
Right. And a similar story over here. Cool. And then the switches will be able to control the turrets. So how are things in the land of Siggy? Wake the fuck up. Well, we abandoned it, so... Abandoned settlement. Yeah. Nothing there. Okay, so it's 7 in the evening, and Singy and Cyanide are just on the edge of the... Well, they're just, they've just found the river. They're just about to follow it up to the camp. So they'll just keep moving until they can see the lights in the distance. Oh no. Dude today's having a tantrum. He's going to smash things in his bedroom. This happened because his lover died. So dude today... Oh, we have a grizzly bear. Better watch out for that. That's not your bedroom. Thank you, Seed. Thank you very much, Seed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Well, fuck berries. Caravan has arrived. Cyanide is here with Singy. How are they feeling? They're okay. Well, obviously, that, that took it out of them. So come on in and come and yeah, come and rest. Did we get the roof on? We did. 23 degrees. We'll switch the heaters on when it gets really cold, but we're all right. And as you can see, we've managed to stock the, the freezer with quite a bit of meat and some corn. We've gone through all the potatoes already. Apparently we have. Jesus. Uh, yeah, that hay. Oh, no, we might get a second load of hay grass. Mm, get that frozen. That'd be useful. How many... Uh, Oh, good. 17 units of herbal medicine. Very good. Okay. Well, at least we're together again. Due to today's gone to bed. No. Right. Shit. Yeah, go rest in the infirmary, Singy. Okay, um, so it's one minute. Yeah, so it, it's one o'clock, folks, so I, I best leave it there. So thank you for watching. So this stream has seen a failed attack on a nearby bandit camp, which resulted in the death of Flyboy and Emerald, two of our, well, combat-capable colonists, uh, leaving people who are not so great at it. But we did have one survivor, the 18-year-old cannibal uh, girl, Singy. As for Jonah and Hawk, the two of them remain in their relationship, and I think they've even... They, they want to get married, don't they? Are they? Fiancé, yes indeed. So Jonah and, and Hawk are hopefully going to get married. Singy's probably get, getting over the, the, the... Well, what she just saw. Chucky's okay. Chucky's always okay. Dude today's upset about the death of his, his lover, Emerald. And Cyanide is... Very ugly. But beyond that, nothing new. Um, right, so I've got to go and get on with editing today. So between 1 o'clock and 8 o'clock every day, every Monday to Friday, I just do nothing but edit. So I've got much to do. And um, yeah, I'm just going to crack on as best I can and get as much as I can done and be around later this evening. So yeah, cheers for watching, folks. Right. Oopsie. Fuck. Hang on. I, I accidentally took a screenshot at some point during that game and Steam is just telling me. Okay. Let's have a look. So ZF Clan... So who's on? So Yuki, Paltos, and Edberg are all on. Uh, okay, let's have a look. So Yuki is playing uh, World of Warcraft. Paltos is playing World of Warcraft. Edberg is playing World of Warcraft. <sighs> Many options this morning, I, th I feel. Uh, what about people I'm following? Alistair is playing World of Warcraft. Right. Um, okay. I'll hand you over to... I'll hand you over to Yuki then. So he's currently running around in Thunder Bluff playing as a giant cow. Oh, he's playing a hunter. I immediately look down on him. Right. There we go. So this is ZF Yuki. He's playing World of Warcraft. And uh, yes, have a, have, have a lovely afternoon. All the best. And uh, hope to see you again later this evening. So uh, yeah, take care and all the best.